what you doing? Is that right? Oh, okay. Hi. See you later. Hey, what's up guys and welcome to today's studio vlog. I kind of have a little bit of a funny story because everything is so crazy with coronavirus and I got really freaked out that what if farmers get sick or what if uh, truckers get sick and it affects our ability to, to kind of get food like shipped to grocery stores. And so I thought, you know, we should just stock up on some beans, right? Like we're not gonna go crazy and buy out the whole store like people did with toilet paper, just insane. <laughs> But like, I didn't wanna to go to the store. Like we were at the point where I was trying to avoid the grocery store if I could. Literally, Amazon is totally sold out of beans. There are no beans anywhere to be found. Um, same thing on Instacart, you know, the grocery store was sold out of beans. I couldn't get beans. <laughs> you know, how can I get dry beans? Eden Foods or something comes up. They were also kind of sold out of like the smaller quantities, but they had bulk. And so there were options to buy 25 pounds of beans and so my husband and I were kind of like well and we were like well we don't want just like one kind of bean right like we want some variety so we ordered four different kinds we literally just got today our shipment arrived and we got a hundred pounds of beans and so I'm about to open these boxes and I want to film it because it's kind of hilarious Okay, so here they are. Here are our boxes of beans. So I am going to open them. So yeah, this is really crazy. I mean, lifetime supply of beans right here. <laughs> what is quarantine doing to us? Okay, so now that we have our lifetime supply of beans and we can eat, now we can focus on art, right? <laughs> so one of my projects is to create these Jacobian florals because they're just always sort of around, like they're very commercial. I did a bunch of them when I was a rug designer and honestly, I never wanted to do Jacobian florals again, but I started seeing them in runway fashion when I was doing my trend research and so, I'm like, all right, I gotta do some Jacobian florals. Maybe I can make them a little bit trendier, a little bit cooler, but I need to develop a collection of them for my agent and for some other venues. And one of my other goals is to really just try to put myself out there on other platforms. Um, and I don't mean social media, I mean more like uh, places where people are actually buying art, like Pattern Bank, maybe Spoonflower, places like that where if I could build up a little bit more of a presence, then that's when clients kind of come to you versus you trying to like, you know, scavenge for clients. <laughs> so that's kind of the advice I've heard uh, recently and it makes a lot of sense. And so I think, you know, if I was a client, I would be more excited about kind of discovering an artist than, you know, getting bombarded by a bunch of different people and being like, ugh, whatever. So anyway, I am going to draw some Jacobian florals and you can watch along.
Hey guys, that's going to wrap up the vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about what I was doing, feel free to leave a comment down below. Your comments literally make my day and I'm happy to answer any questions as always. Um, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.